In the meantime, the COVID-19 vaccine continues to trickle down the borderland. Some El Pasoans frustrated by how it's being dispensed to the public. ABC 7's Will Heron spoke with city and county officials about their progress in dispensing the doses. That's right. And also getting to hear about those frustrated parents and, of course, frustrated daughters about their personal experience after taking one father to get the vaccine. JC, Kate, earlier today... Nellie Yanez took her 93-year-old father here to UMC, one of the mega vaccination sites, in order to get him vaccinated. When she got here, she was absolutely shocked, seeing hundreds of seniors lined up outside in the cold. She was worried there were no bathrooms for some of these seniors who may need to leave to use the facility, and that if they left, they may have lost their spots in line. Instead of staying, she took her father home. I, I'm like, this is ridiculous. There's no way, there was elderly people there, with wheel in wheelchairs, some of them with uh, oxygen tanks. It's inhumane for those people, pobrecitos. It was just heartbreaking, heartbreaking. Nelly Yanez was shocked by what she saw at the UMC mega vaccination site she brought her 93-year-old father to for their 7.30 a.m. appointment. It was really, really sad to watch those elderly people, you know, like my dad, standing in line in the freezing cold. Giannis felt for those who waited in line without an appointment. If you're keeping somebody in the cold for two hours and then you get up to the front and they, they tell you, oh, no, you're not registered, then why, do, why did you keep them there that long? One of Giannis's fear was that there was no bathrooms available. She was worried that a senior may need to use the restroom and then lose their place in line. El Paso County Judge Ricardo Samaniego understands people's frustrations. He believes it's just going to take a little time to fix these issues. You know, don't take it personal. People are trying, and I wouldn't tell you this if I didn't believe that every effort was being made. Uh, but like I said, it's, a, it's the conflict between uh, supply and demand. I also spoke with the El Paso Fire Chief Mario Diagostino about what some El Pasoans have experienced getting the vaccine. We know we're not perfect. We're working nearly 24-7 on finding ways to improve. But this is a very large ship that we are maneuvering and turning it into the best course of action is going to take some time. We will get there. Not really today. I also spoke, of course, with Judge Semenyego and Chief Diagostino. What they were telling me is that some people that have waited two hours in line, got to the front, had not registered, had to be turned around. If you have not registered for your vaccination, they have not told you to come to the site, then you will not get vaccinated. They both told me that around 25% of the people that were in line did not have the registration, sending them back. Now, that made it harder for everybody else that was in line that was registered. Again, get registered before you go to the vaccination site. Here at UMC, I'm Will Heron, ABC7.